All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A uh, few things I do want to go over about the uh, AVR Meteor Game Capture HD. Uh, one of the things you really need to do is hook up a uh, um, a headset to your AVR Meteor Game Capture HD uh, with a mic, preferably, preferably, because um, I got a headset with a mic on it. Uh, and the reason because you want to do that is because you will not get audio coming out of your AVR media. Oops. Oh, I got it. That's good. You won't get audio coming out of your TV set until you set up the audio for your headset. So remember that. So, like I said, I do not like... Uh, hearing myself in the headset at all. I don't enjoy it so what I do is I just play my games on low with low audio and um, it's not too bad you know for let's plays and you know getting some uh, gameplay and so on like that you know but I really wish um, like AVR Media could just fix the um, setting so I wouldn't have to hear myself when I'm talking. So once AVR Media fixes that feature and give a, gives us a Game Capture HD 3 with wireless, it's pretty much going to be probably one of the... Oops, just trying to line them up. Pretty much like the best uh, game ca uh, capture ca uh, device for not needing a computer. And like I said, I cannot stress, uh, stress this enough. You need to set up your audio in the headset first before you get audio in the TV. So once I set up the audio for the headset, I then pull out the headphone jack. And then I get audio coming from my television. But if you don't have a, a, a headset or a, you know, to, to put in some headphones or you know, set up a mic or whatever, and you don't have anything to plug in, you will not get audio out of your TV speakers. And one other thing that I don't like is once I have the headset uh, plugged in, um, I have to, uh, like, let's say, like, I did not hear myself in the headphones, like, you know, like I talked about that I didn't know. Like. Um, I always have to unplug it to get audio from my TV. I wish there was like a button or something that I could just say, okay, you know, switch audio to TV speakers or headphones or both for that matter. That would actually be a really good feature. Uh, but however, it, it doesn't have the, uh, those features. Now, I will say this. For somebody who's a YouTuber who wants to get content out really quickly, uh, sufficiently, uh, it's a really good capture card, especially when you don't have a computer uh, close to your um, gaming setup, you know. And the reason because of that is, like, I just hit record when the match started. You know, you can do the, those things on a computer, too, uh, but you're going to have, have to have your computer right next to your gaming setup. Now, if you're running a long HDMI, ca I'm not HDMI, ca USB cable, um, you know, from your capture card to your com computer, for that matter, I mean, to your gaming setup. Some of you, some bad guys are not here trying to stay alive. Um, you know, you're going to have maybe five or ten seconds of dead footage before you walk back to the couch. And you'll have to edit, edit that out. Now, that's not that big of a deal to edit it out. There is actually a really good program, which I will leave in the description box, uh, for video editing, which does not require encoding. It's just a cutter. And uh, cutters are not like video encoders. So it's not like it, it re-encodes a, a brand new file like Sony Vegas or something like that. Uh, it just makes a brand new file. That's all. So, also, you you can cut with, um, you know, with uh, um, QuickTime Pro from Apple, and it's available for Windows. Uh, but QuickTime Pro is very resource heavy. 
and jumps between frame from frame to frame and and uh, you know it's just not that good and also QuickTime Pro is $30 for editing MP4 and MOV files uh, this other one I forget it's Audio Audix or whatever the name of it is I'll leave the links in the description box uh, for that program too maybe you know you just you know I think I, oh, I didn't count. you know that's a really good program also maybe you just don't want to be stopping and going with the uh, AVR media you could also use uh, use that as well uh, but I don't use that when I'm using the AVR media I just use I'm using the app the iPhone app for uh, the AVR media live gaming Now I want to talk about the swell. Um, there's two HDMI splitters that are really popular uh, for doing, you know, capturing that people are starting to use. There's the swell, there's the Ori, and I think there's one called VUHD. Uh, somebody else uh, did a review on on YouTube, but the two popular ones is the swell and the Ori. You know, the Ori one is a little bit. Better for um, like doing Elgato type of things if you have an Elgato. Just letting you guys know a little bit more information. Um, but the extra feature that it has, it really doesn't benefit uh, too much over the um, the swell the, the, that HDMI splitter. And the reason because of that is the um, the swell. When you want to record with the Elgato, you have to stick, you know, your. Um, and I'm talking about PlayStation 4 for a second, just to let you guys know, because you will have to uh, get a splitter for the Xbox One um, if you don't want to deal with HDCP popping in and out, like giving you problems from time, time to time. With the swell, with the Xbox One, I go Xbox One to swell and then swell to uh, the uh, AVR media. Now, when I use PS4, I go PS4 to swell, and then swell, um, then PS4 to swell, and then swell to, to Elgato, and then it doesn't capture. Um, which, that's not really that big of a deal, because you would go uh, PS4 to swell, and then swell sends one HDMI cable to your HDTV set. And remember, it's a splitter, so it sends the other split to the Elgato and then you're all set so the Elgato in um, I mean splitters swell and Ori they they um, are pretty much the same thing the Ori is a little bit better because if for whatever odd reasons you wanted to output out of the Elgato this the Ori will will do that it does a little bit better job on doing something with HTCP. However, the Ori will not work with the PS4 with the AVR Media 2. I want you guys to know that. As of right now, capturing over HDMI, I cannot get the PS4 to work. I'm going to give it one more shot with the with the uh, mono price DVI splitter when I, when I get that in and I should probably get that in a week or two and I'll let you guys know in the description box if that works Now, if you do not want to get a um, uh, HDMI splitter, I would really recommend just deleting all media apps from the Xbox One and um, unplugging um, the Xbox One from the wall. And um, you know, I, I I can't remember. Some of you was having problems with the AVR media with the um, the Xbox. One. I think it was a live game portable. I think you unplugged it, deleted all the media apps, so HDCP would not kick in. 
And maybe you can have the each, uh, the media apps um, installed, but you'll have to maybe get a power brick where you can cut it. Maybe not like a power brick, like a surge protector, but just a, a, a power... So yeah, um, that's my take. The Swell and the Ori um, will both do the job. Overall, I'm just saying the Ori is a little bit better, but the feature that it has by hooking up an Elgato and letting the Elgato output to your HDTV if you were capturing with the PS4, it, it's a little bit better from that point. But however, like I said, if you like the the Swell works with the PS4. I mean, not the swell. The, the 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 swell works with the Elgato with the PS4. With the swell, I go PS4 HDMI. One split goes to the Elgato, and one split goes to the HD TV set. If you were going to capture with PS4, because as of right now, the um, Game Capture HD I can't get it to work with the PS4. But for Xbox One. In the swell of the Ori, it's it's perfect. You can make videos really quickly, and they are pretty damn good quality. So once again, guys, I know I've been rambling on for a bit um, because it's hard to play and talk at the same time. Once again, guys, this has been your boy, MP4Podcast.com. Signing out. Take it easy, guys. Later, guys. Bye.